In this video, we're looking at Year 12 HSC Economics, Globalisation and Economic Development. What we're looking at in particular here for Topic 1 are these two syllabus dot points, the distribution of income and wealth and income and quality of life indicators. This will become clear as we go through the content. First thing to think about is that this syllabus dot point is all about how do we compare living standards between countries? So as economists, we can look at how much people earn. This tells us very clearly uh, the differences between people's lives. Income tells us the ability of a citizen to satisfy their material wants. They're able to buy a new car, new clothes, pay for private schools, all sorts of things that tell us about their quality of life. But as economists, we can also look beyond just what people earn. We can also look at their overall standard of living. So, for example, their educational attainment, the health care they can access, infant mortality rates, all sorts of other broader measures. In terms of comparing living standards, let's start with income. So when we look at income, we focus on gross national income, which is the overall measure for a country, and gross national income per capita, which is per person. So GNI is the sum of all value added by all local producers in an economy. So put simply, all the money that local producers earn, plus money that they receive from foreign sources. It's usually calculated on a per person, per capita basis. This makes it much easier to compare between countries. You might be thinking GDP, GNI, what's the difference? So if you look at the top right corner there, GDP is the value of production. What is the produced goods and services worth in dollar terms? GNI is the amount of money that producers receive. So it's different. It's not the sum of goods and services. It's the sum of income that people receive. If we compare economies on GNI, so remember we're just focusing on income for now. In general, people who live in high income regions earn nearly five times as much income as those in low and middle income countries. This shows us a significant disparity or inequality between material living standards between the developed and the developing world. Now remember, we're just focusing on material living standards, not broader quality of life, when we just look at GNI. So this video is in general terms, so it doesn't date. But you need to go online and have a look at the current stats to see how the countries are ranked in terms of GNI, but you can be assured that the most developed countries are much higher up. 